Hi, this is Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. Today we're going to be talking about top end queries, which is a way of displaying the top end or bottom end number of rows in an ordered set. The first thing we're going to do is create a test table that just holds a single column. We populate it with a multi table insert such that each value is inserted twice into the table. As expected, if we query the data, we can see we have two rows for each value. The classic mistake people make when trying to do a top end query is to try and combine row num and order by in a simple statement like this. We were expecting to get the highest five values in the table, but that's not what we got. This is because row num is applied before the order by, so it gives us an inconsistent result. The classic way to do a top end query is to do an ordered inline view and then select from that and use row num to limit the number of rows. We've used a descending order by, so we would expect the values to go from the largest values to the smallest. We now have the top five values as expected. Oracle 12C introduced the row limiting clause to make writing top end queries much simpler. In this case, what we're using is fetch first five rows only. We write a normal query with an order by and then tag this on the end. This gives us the same output we saw with the classic top end query. If we switch to using the with ties clause, we will still attempt to show five rows, but if there are any ties, it might display more so that all those ties are displayed also. Since we have a tie for fifth position, the value eight has two records, then we show both of them and there are six rows displayed. In this example, we're using a top end query based on a percentage of rows rather than an explicit number of rows. Top end queries are really useful when you want to page through data, especially when you're displaying it as pages in a user interface. You use a top end query to pull out all of the pages of data up to and including the page you want to display. You then throw away the rows that have already been displayed so that you're left with just the page of data you want to display. The classic top end query does the job okay, but it looks a little bit confusing, especially if people are new to this. The row limiting clause makes this a lot simpler. There's an offset to say where the data should start and then the number of rows or percentage of rows you want to pull back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.